From this to this. Mr Speaker, I am a fighter and not a quitter. And finally this. I have therefore spoken to His Majesty the King to notify him that I am resigning as leader of the Conservative Party. But how did this happen? How was she ever let near the Premiership? Perhaps there were some clues to the potential disaster that she'd wreak on the nation along the way before she even entered into the race to BPM. Hmm. I and wonder. And we were filmed asking members of the public what they thought about the monarchy. Here's young Liberal Democrat Liz Truss. Weird, but somehow more human than older Truss. We came across a group of three people. I'd say they were around 50, 60. Looked fairly middle class, rather smart. In fact, rather reactionary, to be perfectly frank. <laughs> we asked them their opinion of the monarchy. Do you know what they said? They said, abolish them. We've had enough. <laughs> I wonder what happened. I, conference, rebelled. I became a conservative. This, by the way, is from her infamous pork market speech. In December, I'll be in Beijing, opening up new pork markets. Somehow, some way, she got into the cabinet as the foreign secretary. Here's Chris Bryan exposing her for the slapdash politician she was, is, and probably always will be. So, what was what's the last human rights issue that you raised with a Gulf state leader? I'd, I'd have to come back to the committee on the precise timing of that, but I well, anything. Have just tell us it. anything that you said well, on I human rights. Well, I certainly have raised it when I was in. Go on, uh, tell us I'm one now. I'm just trying to remember my most recent visit, but I can assure you I've raised it, and I will write to you with the details. You can't remember a single human rights issue that you've raised with a Gulf state leader. Oh, well, I've raised particular issues when I've been in the Gulf about well, name human one. rights issues. Well, I'm not going to go into all the details of private conversations, which I will come back to you on in due course. I'll name one. <laughs> Click here for another video about Liz.